Hi all. Today I'm starting to dig my test pool. The ground is finally thawed. So I got out my old Yanmar excavator here, which I keep at home just for lifting stuff. And I'm gonna dig myself a pool right now. I have a nice big pond liner to put in it and a gantry crane to put over it. And I'll be diving the sub in here shortly, I hope. So while I'm letting the pool fill with water, I've just got a garden hose to fill it. It's probably going to take a couple days. I'm installing these 12 inch by 12 inch wide flange beams. And the idea is they'll be spaced the exact width of my rolling gantry crane. And I'll put the crane on there and then I can just roll the sub over the water and lower it in with a chain hoist. And as well as that, I'm making a makeshift fence out of house moving blocks just so if somebody's wandering around at night, they don't fall in my pool. Plus, we've got a lot of deer around here. I don't want one of them falling in either. So it turns out that these 24 foot wide flange beams are too short. So I'm gonna swap them out with my next shortest beams, which are 40 feet. Uh, that'll be plenty long. These are about three feet too short, unfortunately. So the first beam is in. This is a 40 footer, got lots of room that way for the gantry cane, crane to roll way past the pool. You notice I have the beam flipped on its side. I know that's the weak way, but the load is not that great. It's only 1500 pounds per beam. It can handle it just fine. The idea is I don't have to worry about the rollers going off the beam and the whole thing falling into the pool. So the webs actually guide the rollers. So far, so good. So the next step of the operation is to install this gantry crane, which will roll on these two beams, acting like railroad tracks. Luckily, I have machinery home to lift all this stuff, or it'd be pretty close to impossible. So I got the gantry crane all bolted together. I have to tighten the bolts yet. But now I'm gonna just throw the Hillman rollers underneath. Perfect. Now you can see it'll roll back and forth. Beautiful. So you can see the pool is slowly filling up. It takes a half an hour to go up one inch. So I think I've got about uh, two and a half, three feet of water in there now. So I got lots of stuff to do on the sub to get it up here and ready. So it'll all happen at the same time. Well, here we are. I dropped the submarine in the pool last night and I've lost some water. I know there's a leak in the liner somewhere, but I can't find it. Anyway, so it'll be all right. So it's floating fantastic. I know the back end is a bit high and I discovered a leak in my front fiberglass ballast tank. So I raised it up last night and I put a little bit of Bondo on that hole just to accomplish this test. It's not leaking now, I see. So I'm going to raise the water level at least another foot, maybe two. It will actually sink right now, but I don't want to risk touching the bottom of the pool and damaging the liner. Patience. It's not my strong suit. So what I'm doing now is I have, these are the main cables that go to the solenoid valves that sink the submarine from the surface. So I unplugged it from the sub and I rigged up a couple little penetrators here so I can sink the submarine from here instead of being in the submarine. So there's the air releasing.
That's a hundred gallon tank, so it takes a while to drain all that air out. So it is submerging. I'm hoping it won't submerge because if it does, that means it's too heavy. So that big round disc right there, that's a 130 pound weight that I use for a ballast. It appears to be too heavy, so I'm going to replace it. So it's 130 pounds. I'm dropping down to a 100 pound weight right now. So I'm just going to lift it out with my excavator and then drop in the new one. So after about five hours today of messing around with balancing the sub, it's done. It's fantastic. You can see here the chain is hardly holding any weight at all. It's about a foot off the bottom of the pool. It's nice and stable. You can push down with a bar on it in all four corners. It's fantastic. What I had to do is I had to add two troll floats to the front, which is 36 pounds of buoyancy. I had to add one to the back, which is 18 pounds, and two in the center here. So the sub is sitting nice and level. It's almost neutral. You see that? It's fantastic. I couldn't be happier. I really fluked out on the weight and balance of this thing. You know, you calculate this as much as you can, but there's no way of getting it right on. So when I, whenever I do this, I usually just go to the lake with a truckload of weights and floats. And I add floats and I add weight and I get it balanced. This has really turned out great. Now I gotta figure out how to get this thing out of here. This chain hoist is really barely can lift it. So I'll have to figure something out. But it was sure easy to put in. It just traveled down the beams on these rollers. Piece of cake. Ciao.